All right, everyone, it's time to Rock and Roll. It is time for more Colony Survival. We're here at the start of episode number 27 here in the series already. So we're really getting along uh, relatively fast. And it does feel like we're getting to the, the kind of like the end game as well. So the next thing we have is the horizontal elevator. Not sure what it is good for, but we will unlock it and we'll build it just to see what it does. Then we've got the steel, lead and mineral oil. And for that, we're going to need science chests as well as the gunpowder also requires science chests. So first things first, we're going to need to build ourselves the chest makers workshop. All right, so here in this box, we uh, have a little bit of space left. We even have some crates already ready for them to start working ahead. Um, we do need some light in here, though. Do we have our fancy new lights, the ones that we like? There, we've got 15 of the white lanterns. That's really, really good. So I'm going to take you out. There we go. And just put one of these ones in. Now, yeah, that nicely lights up the, the room from that side. We'll do the same on this side. Although maybe we eventually want to do it a little bit different. Oh, wow, it is really light and bright outside, but inside it actually looked like it was nearly nighttime already. Oh, well. Oh, we've got a couple of the old blocks left. Let's just quickly fix that manually. Although, it's right underneath there as well. Huh? Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit more replacing of all the blocks there. But so far, all in all, let's be really honest, that, that replacing block thing, and um, I think it was Johnny who commented it. Thank you so much. It really makes a huge difference. And it's going to save us all a lot of work. All right, so these guys are mainly complaining because they don't have berry meals to turn into. But I don't need you to turn the berry meals into anything. You need to turn the chicken meals into anything. All right, let me fix that with all of these guys. So... No more of this, no more of that. Just sacred meals and candles. And now it turns out the biggest problem is lack of candles. Nearly forgot to have a quick look because these guys, yeah. So you need a chest. I'm not sure what that is for hemp fiber. And you need the chest in order to make the science chest. So we're really getting hamstrung here on our hemp fiber. All right, so since we've got this replacer, uh yes no it cannot work overlapping but it should be able to work underneath right so if i'm going to let's remove you manually and then let's get ourselves here construction and we say the replacer and we want to replace a regular dirt with marsh dirt and we can start off right here let's have a look if this is going to work because if that works it would actually be pretty neat and cool um i think i dug it here there we go so this is now not underneath, um, and you are a DP field field though. So I'm going to need construction, and I need a construction job. I can place you there, and you I cannot. Although, yes, we can. Um, where was it? C. Duck Town. There we go. It's a good thing I remember that. All right, so we place a crate down here, and we put another one right down there. That should be okay. So somebody should be coming along there, two people actually, in order to replace all the dirt with something else. All right, so now we go here. We set reset the elect, uh, active colony, and I'm going to go and remove all of these. Because if we're going to be replacing it with marsh dirt, we also need to get ourselves the um, hemp fields on here. All right, now it is uh, good in the night here, so let's actually have a look at how our main base does with the defenses. Um, so far, yeah, those traps are being triggered quite regularly now, um, as are those ones. So they're actually making it through quite regularly, but then again, it's not really a surprise. Because look at what is walking in here. It is juggernaut after juggernaut after other strong guy. So it's really the worst of the worst, pretty much, that we have here now. Look at these. The juggernaut, the, just, you know, the, um, the arrow here, the projectile is not even enough to take him down. Although, I mean, yeah, of course, if all of those crossbows do what they need to do, then yes, we'll get pretty close. I do like the, the ragdoll physics, though. It's really cool to see them all flop all over. Yeah, flop, flop. All right, so I've got three juggernauts in a row. Let's have a look. Um, well, the last one is going to go... Okay, they go pretty similarly. Fair enough. What time is it? Three o'clock in the morning. I'm actually not even upset with all of this. This is going way better than I would have expected. 
All right now, you guys have suggested that we add um, a colony outpost right there and that we basically build one full block for defenses. It's something that I did kind of dub before. I thought about that and we might actually do that, but let's uh, first get to the end of it. Uh, once we have all of this unlocked and we've got everything built that we need to build, then we can start experimenting a little bit more. Plus, I also want to go maybe on top there and build um, a big big something out there. I don't know what it is yet, yeah, but there's some pretty cool options now with building all the different blocks and the different shapes with the chisel. We might actually make something cool out of that. All right, so we need more candles. To get ourselves more candles, um, I think we're going to be expanding this so how about um we are gonna go and build ourselves here with the fancy new construction custom shapes walls and we built them out of bricks right so if i then yes from here now how wide was it i need to reduce one so it is 12 and that includes the walkway so it is going to be well, nine, because I'm going to be removing the walls again, I think. All right, I'm not sure what it was. Oh, actually, it fitted all the way up until the top. That's perfect. Okay, one, two, three, four, five guys out of here. One, two, three, four, and let's get them working on that. Um, we'll quickly remove the bushes from here, as well as you, and we shall get ourselves a white cobble, because that way, built with the white cobble. There you go in. Thank you. All right, and then we need to get ourselves this back in. Let's get the grocery store back up because you do need it there. And we'll put you right up here for now. All right, so you guys can start building on this. That's going to be awesome. And then as soon as you're done building, I'm going to be pulling the wall out again. Um, because, I mean, it's one, two, three. There, one, two, three, wall. Well, maybe we leave the wall. I'm not sure yet. All right, so quite a little bit of time has passed. In the meanwhile, let's quickly empty all of this from our inventory because it's not really like we need it. Let's have a look if the replacing of our dirt with mash worked. Because if that worked, that technically means that all the barley should be gone as well. Um, No. All right, so the barley is not gone but did replace all of the, the soil. Okay, that's actually quite cool as well, because that means we can go for construction digger area. And I think we ran out of um, marsh dirt. Or the, no, the guys are still working on that, actually. Okay, so then I need to be careful. Ip. There, that I don't step into here. No, see, because otherwise we're going to be overlapping. And that we cannot do. Okay, so one here. And let's get two on these guys. There. So you guys can start taking all of that out. And then we're going to get all the barley. Then we're going to have all of that replaced with the marsh dirt. And then I can just set up the new hemp farms on there to get all of that done. Nice. All right, so the guys are completely done with replacing all of that for the marshes. Um, I'm going to be oof, nearly dropping all the way down. Bad news. Bad, bad, bad boy. All right, let's grab you and let's fill quickly the walkways in. Because that's kind of what I was planning on doing to make sure that we've got the walkways nice and set. All right, there we go. So it took them the full day, but that is all good. So now we're going to go and we want to get ourselves more hemp farmers. Because that is the biggest thing that we are lacking, hemp. Thank you very much. That is one here. Let's get the next ones right up in here. And let's get this all nice and filled up with as much hemp as we could possibly grow. There we go. That's another one, two, three, four of them. That is really good. So then we've got pretty much double what we had before, I think. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again also on this side. But first I need to make sure that we have enough hemp. Marsh dirt, marsh dirt. Yeah, we don't have a lot of it left. Neither do we have a lot of marsh grass. So we actually might need to go over there and get ourselves another massive dig site going just to get as much of the marsh dirt as we can. Don't have too many of the white lanterns anymore, but slowly and surely we're replacing all of the actual torches with the white boxes. And it looks pretty neat. Do I have any left? I've got one left that is good. You fit exactly here, I think. 
there there yep that's exactly where you should be so there's a couple of them that still have a torch or a couple of them that is still empty but that's kind of okay for now all right let's go in here because this is our new fresh building let's set it up for the bee farms um do you make sense like this one two three let's just find out how big is a bee farm b b b beekeeper how small do you need to be three by three three by three as well so we can set you here and then you pretty much get exactly the same treatment as the chicken guys get yep just need to get yourself a torch up on that side as well there we go we'll fix that later um, let's get ourselves a whole stack of boxes before we have the people here. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, and four. There's going to be eight more on uh, this side, and then we can just go another level up. Um, just need to make sure that we open you up, although that's kind of the wrong spot, isn't it? Nice. Now, we do need to do a quick replace block of well, because otherwise we're going to end up having um, a different color stuff here. And, oh... I think that means we need to have a quick look. That is the first bell, though. First bell, not the biggest issue. We have a couple of extra ones on there. Um, it just means that we need to have a look if they actually made it to the dropper traps. Okay, so that is the big boy. That is the worst one you can have here in the game. Uh, he already took multiple arrows. There we go. Now he is down. Flip down into the mode. Nice. Bye-bye, apple pie. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that he is also the one who made it to that bell. Did they make it through there as well? Mm, let's have a quick look. It doesn't look like they set this one off yet. No, not yet. All right, so they made it to this bell, but that's kind of where it ended. Uh, let's not stand in front and cop an arrow to the knees. Let's stand exactly inside him. All right, so we've got the bad guys coming in from there. Uh, it's five o'clock in the morning already, so all of those ones... Ah, those are the day guards. They're already coming on duty as well. Nice. All right, so we are okay. They only made it to the first bell so far. Nice. All right, and then to get the next floor on here, let's set ourselves a, a construction builder area. Now, it needs to be arable, so let's take ourselves um, just grass. Just grass is going to be at that level, isn't it? From right there. Just making sure it is at the right level. It is. Now, we're going to go all the way through quickly to this side making sure that we've got this one covered as well and now then the actual construction job is going to be relatively easy we can just put that right nicely here in front of the door one there and the other one right about here and then for now we shall remove you replace you with one of these do the same on this side there you go do need to hire a couple of more people there we go recruit to fill all the jobs and i think that should give us uh, another eight um candle farmers and since we've got our uh, chicken house over there and soon the bee house as well let's start removing all of these chicken houses because they don't really serve any purpose anymore now do they okay we do have a couple of people available on this side to help us with cleaning up all of this there that should definitely be doing the trick now let's quickly go back over to the other side and make sure that we've got our bee house ready and how are we looking hemp wise so we're slowly starting to increase 36 we've got some hemp fiber we've got five science jets it's not a lot but surely slowly but surely we're getting there and just like that we've got ourselves another nice floor now let's separate again these two sides of the factory not really sure if it really makes a difference but it's more aesthetics all right there we go close you up and now nah, let's keep it nice and open here on the side all right then we want to get ourselves another beekeeper let's get you busy on all the sides here that's another nice four right in there let's give yourself the crates in the middle now i know we could pull the same trick as we did for the berry bushes but I opted for not doing so, just because we're building quite a few of them now anyway. So efficiency-wise, we should manage. And there we go. Now we have the top level finished as well. Going to do just the same thing here again. Just set ourselves up a whole list of beekeepers. And we'll just quickly chuck the crates in right smack in the middle. And just like that, we've got 24 bee farmers up here as well. Uh, beekeepers, whatever they're called. But let's get quickly a light on. And um, we're going to be there we've got the bell again i think it's just the first one though i would be surprised if they're making it to the second already well they might actually have made it to the second one because these two traps have gone off these ones have not so they might have made it until just about here and then got finished by the guards before they turned 
But let's have a look. I mean, besides that, we're looking still quite okay. Honestly. Um, neither one of those traps is empty yet. Neither one of those ones is empty yet. So we're looking all good. It is four o'clock in the morning. So I think uh, this entire army here so far is doing relatively well. All right, we do have a uh, minus 14 jobs available. So let's uh, recruit to fill all the jobs. That puts us at 99 colonists here at Barley Fields. And actually a threat level of 38.7 out of the 799.4. So we're nearly at 800 threat. Soon we're going to be crossing the 1000 though. All right, and here we have all of our hemp farms. And look at that. 261 hemp in store and we've got three hemp fiber as well so the tailor stations are working heavily on making the hemp fiber and they're being turned into chests and the chests are being turned into science chests so we're uh, well on the way to make some good progress here now the question is though what is the first thing that we need to go and unlock um technically i would say we need to follow it in order and for you we need the glass blower which we have and the science chest but we need 25 chests and we only have five in stockpile at the moment for steel lead and mineral oil though we just need more colony points now i didn't even check how many chests do we have set in the queue because obviously they're going to stop working after a while that's what i thought so you guys yeah you need more hemp fiber because they're being turned into rope as well uh, but how about you guys work on that and you i don't know work on 100 there, so now you're complaining again that you don't have hemp fiber. Um, you guys are making all of the grasses, etc. What do you take? Doesn't really take anything. Straw and tempered leaves. That's, we have enough of those. All right, give me the fancy dark grass. Yep, I like the dark grass. Don't know for what we needed, but sure thing. Build away. We have everything that we need anyways. Now, since it seems that the biggest problem we have is a lack of hemp fiber main hemp fiber yeah that's what we need for pretty much everything so how about i'm going to be chucking down mm, can can you move yeah thank you all right so these two here and we still have two tailor stations now if i'm going to put you on group number i don't know three there and you can make all the hemp fiber you could possibly think of there you go so you go there you go there that's these two how long does it take 58 and a half seconds and it needs hemp we've got 14 hemp left 14 no we've got 341 it needs 14 hemp wow that is a lot though no wonder that we're consistently running out of hemp okay what are you guys doing poison darts 200 in stock we only got two guys shooting that is it hmm All right, so it is 3 p.m. and our trap fixer is just going there now to fix those. All right, everything else has been refilled by now, I hope, because otherwise potentially we need a second trap fixer. No, this one's done and dusted. Just making sure that all of them are well in the green before the next night starts. Okay, so he has two left to fix. Does he have enough time? That's basically the question that we're looking at, because if we start to run out... Um, where did he go? Of course, this is the time where he decided, you know what, let me go and get some food. Okay, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Need to see, is he going to fix those ones or not? All right, there we have uh, the entire army of guards coming back on duty. But still no trap fixer. He still didn't fix the first two. And it is 5 p.m. It's nearly 6 p.m., which means it's nearly time for them to uh, call it a day. This is not good. Which means we need a grocery store closer by for that clown. Look at that. We've got 140 um, sacred chicken meals. So the chicken meals are going up because we have more cabbage. We've got more chicken, which is all nice and well. Plus, we've got the added candle production, which means that we now also have... Look at that. We have enough candles, so they're non-stop pumping out the sacred meals. That is good. All right. 6 p.m. He fixed one of the two. Let's have a look if he's going to manage to get the last one fixed as well. 7 p.m. No. Okay, so we're going to go one trap down definitely need a grocery store closer by for him so let's pull you out although i don't really like that i'm not a fan of having that pulled out there let's 
fill you up again. Um, this is also a space that we're not really using there. Better like that. Um, then I don't remember what block you were. But we could do it just like that. There, so we still got a nice light here going. And do we need some light here too? Maybe. Let's just pull this one out because we have it. There. So that gives us a little bit of extra lighting going around here. Now, I do like these ones as well, but I think I'm going to be replacing some of those with the white lanterns. I only have seven. Now, if I'm going to go here and I pull you out and you there. Now, I can remove you because I think we're well covered as well as you. Um, and then over here. We're good. I think just the one we'll do on that side. Yeah. Because, oh, that is where I'm missing. Oh, that was not the smartest. Okay, so let me quickly drop you down. Because I'm nearly out of pattern here. That's a bad thing. Um, you, let's get you out. Quickly pick you up. Sorry. Pick you there and there. See, now you can return, because like this, we've got everything nicely balanced again. Because otherwise, you know, once the balance is out, that's it. Then we might as well just give up, then we're just barbaric. Then we are no better than any of those clowns who are walking in here. Alright, get you out. Get you out. Nice bright light. Although I still feel like we've got yellow light coming from somewhere. Oh well. All right, and I think it is time now as well. Um, let's just start off here, not with you, but construction. Let's do another replacer. And we want to replace the mud bricks by stone bricks. And let's replace them from all the way up here. And I hope we're going to have enough, but I think we do. Not just hope that we have enough blocks, but also that my range can reach. Um, of course, it cannot overlap there. One further to the left. All right, so we pick you up. Ooh. That's not, not, that does not sound good. So let's quickly hop on up here. I need to get stairways up here anyways. And not yeet myself off the site every time again. Let's see how far they got. Just bell number one. That is okay. That's probably the first one is going to be empty soon, I think. But it's the heavy guys that are coming in. The heavy guys that are coming in, although they didn't make it till here, all the way until there, obviously, because that's where the first bell is, but they didn't get close to the second bell, so we're still okay. Eh, uh, Juggernaut's not going to make it. Yeah, no. Nah. We're still fine. We can continue building. Alright, so I'm going to have to set that up again. We want to replace her for the mud bricks. We want to replace that with the stone bricks. I'm going to do that from here. And then we're just going to go and hop through here. Just need to be careful that we do not cross any other areas because that is what it doesn't like, apparently. So I can do it until here. There, that works. Perfect. Then we're going to go construction and then construction job. One, two, three, four, and a five just for now. Give you a couple of crates on it. And then we say, please recruit to fill all the jobs. Perfect. All right. So traps are going off but nothing empty yet and they didn't even make it to the second belt today so i think we're still quite okay on that side all right let's have a quick look here how are we doing hemp fiber we got two in stockpile you guys are making chest how many we've got we've got seven so far and yeah that is kind of the limiting factor here so whenever you try to make science chest if you cannot then you will make chests fair enough i think that's actually quite the right way to go about it um then i need to have a look at the other one as well because how many ropes do we have 96 what are the ropes turned into because that's kind of the question i had last time as well and i think i figured out the answer but then again i forgot again um you guys are running out of stone rubble that is a problem does that mean that we're starting to get low in our ammo as well Got 1,100 sling bullets, that is okay. Uh, 187 poison darts, 7,000, 7,000. 
of the copper arrows, six and a half thousand of the crossbow bolts. We're still looking fine on that side. One eternity later. Found it. So it's the caltrops. The caltrops started using the rope, um, which means I can now put everything back in here because I don't really have any need for more than that. Okay, so it is the caltrops that we are using the rope for as well. So if we don't use the caltrops, I do think what else we what else we would need more hemp for. Okay, so got hemp, got plenty of flax. We've got a couple of science chests. Uh, no chests anymore, but they'll be making some more soon as well. All right, and in the meanwhile, another two of these chest makers have been created. So we'll put those ones down as well. Let's get an extra couple of people working on making a science chest because the science chest is really the next thing that we're going to need in order to keep progressing. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look here because we do have quite a few things that we can sell off. Ten of these. Let's sell all of you for plenty of points. Uh, we've got a number of those monoculars, but let's quickly sell off quite a stack of these. Let's get close to the 10,000 points. And there, we've got 50 left. That should do the trick. All right, took us pretty much a day, but look at this. All of it is now nice up. Oh, ho, ho, nearly been that. We would have ended up uh, inside the moat and that would mean quite a bit of swimming. But look at that, all of this is now nice brickwork. I like that, I like that very much. So at least now when we could have done that, well, we did that without actually having to move our guards out of the way. Oop, let's keep on the safe side here, just to A, not mess around with their pathfinding, and B, not risk getting eaten. All right, so so far we're doing uh, relatively well again here in the Horde Night, so we'll just here quietly and have a good look here at our science so the horizontal elevator we could unlock that we've got the books of knowledge we've got the science chest we've got the colony points it will increase our monster threat by 25 we are at 800.6 at the moment so it'll put us at 825 but that's just going to give us an elevator station we didn't even build the vertical one let's not talk about the horizontal one we can also unlock steel lead and mineral oil which is going to give us a whole lot of parts and things that we need to build is steel ingots, lead ingots, steel ingots made at the bloomery. I think that this is more the way to go for all of us. And that's going to unlock the science for the printing press. So, there we go. That is done. So, for you, we're going to need three lead ingots, three vials, for which we need mineral oil, and we need steel parts. All right. So, then the vial, you're going to need silica, sand, potash, and charcoal. Um, charcoal, coal ore, we can buy, or can be found directly below mammoth trees. Now, we already mined some of that. Let ore found in the marshes. I think we have that as well, isn't it? Um, I could just look in here, because it's actually telling me, you clown. In stockpile, 236. 3,000 in stockpile, so we're good. We need empty vials, which we can make at the glass blowers workshop, so that is good. Steel ingots made at the bloomery, for which we need raw iron, iron bloom, silica sand, piece of glass, and charcoal. So that one is expensive to make, though. And we need more iron bloom and more raw iron. How are we looking iron wise, though? Because I think we were quite lacking on the iron ore front. That is copper. 453 or yeah that is not looking too good at all but we are also at a cap here so maybe we want to spend a couple of colony points into colonies capacity there there let's get it up to 500 there we go it was a little bit expensive but it is okay it was worth it um health level zero i still don't care for the health although i would want to see how far we can take all of this hmm all right, quickly over here at the marshes, and honestly, none of the traps are set off. Uh, okay, we only have a threat level of 8.6 here anyways, but um, I'm quite okay with how all of this is going. So let's quickly have a look down here, because we have a massive mine. A massive, massive mine. Um, what do we have all of here? So we have the lead ores there, we've got more iron, and then there's again more iron here as well. Um, do you have iron underneath? No, that would have been too easy, isn't it? All right, so how about we grab ourselves another couple of blocks, just the crates, 
and place you one and two and well not there but right here and then let's have a look do we have a couple of extra miners you're the stone masons i don't know why no i know exactly why i keep mixing them up because it makes sense look you got the pickaxe right there it looks like a miner to me now where the actual miner is that's the question because i never can find him there it is i mean honestly this looks more like a miner than this does but okay all right all right so we get you there then we get another one right up here and one more up there and the rest of it is lead and iron for now don't really have any need for either of them more than what we currently have copper we are looking very good as well okay so i'm just gonna go and recruit to fill all the jobs which is also immediately to fill all the beds and let's help on back there we go that was out of you and then you are supposed to give us silica sand so let's have a look you guys are doing well very well plenty bed space in here now um talking about plenty bed space let's grab ourselves a whole stack of beds and let's just get a whole stack of beds down here flip you around another set right on this side uh, don't forget one spot there now i just need a few more Yep, just because we can't. We add a few more. Let's get to 50 beds in here. There. Exactly 50 beds. Thank you very much. Chuck all of you away again. Now we can go and have a look. Um, right down here. Yes. So there's only a couple of guys here working on the silica. And there is plenty of silica to be gotten. Honestly. Okay, so it's just an entire layer. I thought it was going to be pretty much similar to the ores. But not at all. It's just underneath the sand here, there is silica sand. Fair enough. All right, there we go. Recruit to fill out the jobs. That's an additional four people right on that. Now let's have a quick look that we get ourselves from stairs going. Makes it a little bit easier to walk up and out here. Uh, also on there. Okay, now what do we have here? A threat level of 4.7. I'm not sure if these guys are all going to survive it throughout the day and night. But, oh, well, good. Now, let's head upstairs. Let's have a quick look how our glass blowers are doing now. Because they should slowly get a little bit more of the good, fun silica sand. Because that was kind of the problem before. Yep, see, it still is. Um, and then the other side, we also have the problem with the lack of iron bloom. So, potentially, we might need to expand on that as well. Just to upkeep everything that we're going to need. Talking about upkeep. There, you back into the regular cube. Right, so you guys are all working on steel parts. Yeah. Um, we don't have any steel tools yet. Why not? Because for that, we probably need to go to somewhere else. Let's have a look. Steel tools, for which we need the blast furnace. For which we need the luxury chest. For which we need cotton. For which we need the printing press. So, all we're lacking is 5,000 points. Let's get that printing press up and running. Um, I don't remember. I'm getting lost in my own colony now. It's getting too big and too complicated. And apparently, for some reason, whenever I need to do anything here at the Merchant Hub, we wait for all of those people to pass by. Okay, so Silica Sand, we do have quite a few of them now. It takes a long time, though, to get them. Um, let's sell 13 of you, so we're back to 50. I have no idea why I have so many of all of you, but let's sell them off. There we go. Perfect. So now we've got enough points. Science, printing press, increases the monster threat by 50. Sure. Completed. There we go. Next thing, cotton. One blue lantern, one green lantern, one red lantern. Did we just unlock them? No. No. Ah, because I didn't put any of those funny, fancy farmers down yet. So I might actually need to go and do that. I wanted to put one of those ones down anyways. So let's get that done. All right, we need um, a dying Alcanet farmer. I think you're just like a regular farmer, right? At least I assume. Dear. Not arable. Requires arable ground. All right, so let me find you. 
Um, what are you going to need? You probably need... I don't know. It's difficult to say. So this is not arable. Let's find out all the others. Dying. Hollyhock, can you hear? No. And Wolfsbane? Neither. So looking at Wolfsbane, that makes sense that that comes from the marshes. Don't know if that's actually the case, but that's what my brain tells me. Something with Vampire Diaries and the originals and all that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so all of you occupied there, yeah. Uh, see, there we go. At least my brain there was right. So I need more marshes. Now, question is, can I make that? Can we make marshes uh, grass or can we only pick that up from here? Science, let's have a look because we unlocked that compost bin thingy and they can make all sorts of stuff. Compost bin. Grass and dirt production, fair enough. So dirt, grass, 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 grass. Grass, 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 grass. All in all, no marshes, dirt. Okay. So then I'm going to require construction, a digger area. And we'll dig from here. until there does that make sense i'm not sure but we'll just dig it out that's going to give us some marsh grass and marshes dirt up and i can have you stand right here to do that job for us and we'll just give you a singular crate i don't need many people to do that i just need this one recruit to fill all the jobs there are zero spare beds Okay, that is a problem. But then again, not a problem we cannot overcome. There. Let's get a, two beds. And now we can recruit to fill all the jobs. Thank you very much. All of you, up, up, out and about. Let's just follow the leader, leader. There. Now, someone please make their way all the way up here. There you go. So you can start picking up all of the marshes dirt. Of course, it's going to start with temperate leaves. Tear down the trees first. But there we go. Marsh's dirt's coming in. All right, that is good. So we can start working on that next. Okay, and then in order to get that started, let's go here. Construction, we want ourselves a replacer. And we want to replace the dirt by Marsh's dirt. And from here, 10 by 10 until there. Yay, I was correct. And then we'll get a self-construction construction job right next to here and we'll get another one right there can we recruit to fill all the jobs thank you very much that is well on the way perfect so that's going to be the first one of the different colored farms that we need to set up and the rest of us will do after but we first need to get ourselves some more marshes dirt and that's just going to take a little bit of time now we got some steel parts we've got some vials which is good um we've got vials with mineral oil which is actually made at the alchemist table um what goes in there Let's have a look here into our science. Um, and also, we did not... We have a couple of the monoculars. I didn't even look at one yet. Oh. All right, that's not trippy or anything. One, two, three. I think it is just four blocks. Yeah, it is just four blocks. That's actually quite trippy. All right, don't really have any need for that anyway. So let's get all of that out of the way. Um, how we're looking? 1,300 sling bullets. Okay, so yeah, we're consistent, consistently working there on our um, ammo, but at least it is relatively stable. We've got plenty of iron tools. We still have stone tools. We've got a couple of steel ingots as well, which is good. Now, we want to basically get to the blast furnace. Next thing we need for that is the luxury chest for which we're going to need... Oh, a couple of golden shields. We need some luxury garments uh, for which we need cotton. 
And for that, we're going to need linen, alkanet, wolfsbane, hollyhock, hemp fiber, cotton fiber. That is going to unlock the cotton farmer. So, yeah, there's quite a few things that we still need to unlock okay guys but all that's going to be for the next one thank you so much for joining i hope you have enjoyed it if you did please do remember to hit that like button and if you want to see more here of colony survival please make sure that you subscribe to the channel then i'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to have a look um that we're going to unlock cotton so we need to get the three different farms up and running and we actually need quite a bit of it in order to make some luxury garments which we need for the next unlocks which is the printing price no, we have the printing press, then the cotton, and then the luxury chest, after which we then get the blast furnace, and that is what we're after. Wow. So that's going to take us quite a, a, a lot of work still. But let's see how far we're going to get. So that's all for the next one. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you guys in the next one.